definitely love pastoral care. I love meeting people one on one and um, getting to know the people better, to know all the brokenness as well as the healing that takes place. Um, I, I love getting into the gospel each week. That's one of my favorite things. Like, oh, what's the gospel this week? So we can hurry up and see what's, you know, the next, uh, next big thing. One of my greatest joys is helping congregations to realize that everything is going to be okay and they don't have to be uh, really anxious, uh, especially at serving as an interim pastor uh, when I go into a congregation, their anxiety is up to here. And, um, and I tell them, it's going to be okay. Just breathe. And uh, after, after a month or so, they realize, okay, it's going to be okay. And the anxiety comes down. And, that's, um, and then we can start getting things done. One of my greatest joys is working with children. My church has a preschool and um, getting to see these little bitty children um, go through their years in preschool and uh, getting, getting to be the pastor who, who greets them. Many of them are members of other congregations. Uh, there's a large Roman Catholic church across the street from, from my church. So um, it's important to me that these kids see me in chapel once a week where I always wear the clergy collar just so that they can get used to uh, seeing a woman in leadership um, and see that, yeah, this is something women can do um, and sort of normalize that for some of them who belong to churches that don't ordain women or don't welcome uh, women in leadership. Um, but to also be very close to them, to, to get to know their names and, uh, and talk with them and their families and, and celebrate them is uh, it's a huge privilege. For me. I think just watching people blossom in their faith. Um, I've had these wonderful sacristans, two amazing women who did not know each other uh, very well, or really at all, um, prior to beginning the sacristan ministry. And uh, I knew one loved to bake, and so I invited her to bake some bread. You know, I'd love to have, my dream is to have real bread at communion. And boy, did she take off with that. And that was something that just was so life-giving for her. And she began serving in you know, the altar care duties and realized, oh, we could use a little more help. So I put out the plea for someone else to help. And this other woman who usually sits on the other side of the sanctuary came up to me and said, you know, I don't know a whole lot, but it seems interesting. And then just watching them become fast friends and sisters in the faith and sponges for knowledge as we would talk about you know, the different things, why we do things liturgically, and watching them grow in their own curiosity, in their own relationships. It was just an amazing thing. So what I love about this calling is seeing people, seeing people grow in the, in the relationships to God and one another. I love getting to be a part of all the, the different stages of people's lives. And, and being invited into these like really beautiful moments. So, you know, when someone, um, you know, when someone has a baby and they want, they want me to come to the hospital and I get to see their, their fresh baby and, and get that lovely new baby smell. Um, and, uh, uh, and that's just as beautiful and wonderful as, as getting invited to be at somebody's bedside as they, you know, take their final breaths um, or, you know, the teenager that want me, wants me to, to pray for her friend who just got hurt playing sports or um, the, uh, the little kid that wants to draw a picture on my dry erase board. Like just getting to, be, getting to be a part of all those moments and the invitation to, to be in someone's life in, in all of the moments, the good, the bad, the ugly, the beautiful and everything in between. One of my greatest joys in ministry is the children. I love the children. Uh, the children's sermon is my favorite part of the service. And if we run long, it's because I spent too much time talking and interacting and playing with the children. And um, they give me great joy. Uh, one of the little girls when, who came to our congregation about maybe 10 or, 15, 10 or 12 years ago, when she was about four, she said, 
Pastor, when I grow up and I'm the pastor, can I do such and such? I said, Lizzie, when you become the pastor, you can do whatever you want. And then a few years later, her brothers, we had a visiting pastor, and her brothers looked up at me and said, you mean men can become pastors too? And that was one of my great moments of being a woman pastor, knowing that, uh, that the, the boys didn't realize it could also be men. I thought that was great. I would say when I get to do baptisms there, we had one um, last year at Hope that was uh, um, on Easter and we had some uh, an older child and an adult that were baptized. And so um, um, so it was really a, a very festive day and a great event and um, was very enjoyable and life-giving. So.